And now we're going to learn a little bit more about that public service announcement from my guest, Chris Keene, the Executive Director of the Delaware Lung Association. Thank you a lot, Chris, for being able to make it on the show. Oh, I'm glad to do it. First of all, why don't we begin by talking about that public service announcement? Uh, um, I understand that the uh, local chapter as well as the national chapter, they're very involved in, in educating children about the, uh, the uh, abuses, the bad effects of marijuana. Definitely. We're very, very pleased that the cast of fame has volunteered to serve as our spokespersons for a new American Lung Association program, mm -hmm. and that is to address the health effects of marijuana. We're particularly concerned that young people, especially those in grades four through six, need to be informed and educated about those health effects. Mm -hmm. And that's the focus of the program and one of the reasons that the cast of fame has generously volunteered to participate. You mentioned fourth, fifth, sixth graders. How, uh, is, is it a major problem in schools and classrooms at that age level, at that grade level? No, it is not a problem at that age level, which is exactly why we're trying to reach them. But we are seeing a similar pattern with marijuana smoking that we have seen with cigarette smoking. We've watched cigarette smoking begin to move back to earlier grades uh, where young people are smoking cigarettes as early as sixth grade. Currently, marijuana smoking does begin as early as sixth, seventh, and eighth grades. Uh, we estimate nationwide that as many as five to ten percent of seventh graders have uh, smoked pot and some of them are actually smoking pot regularly. So our rationale for beginning in late elementary school is that we do want to reach children before they've been confronted with the choice. Mm -hmm. We want to reach them with the information about the health effects, which are fairly dramatic and are coming out every day and every month to be uh, a significant health hazard to that child or that teenager or adult mm -hmm. who is a marijuana smoker. Uh, can you explain to me a little bit as to how involved you are, the, the Delaware Lung Associ Association is, in educating children? Are you going right directly into the classrooms talking with the teachers or talking with the students? We'll be doing a variety of things. It's a brand new program for us and we've just kicked it off in uh, Delaware and across the nation uh, in the past month. Mm -hmm. We've got a variety of materials. We have a packaged program which includes teacher materials, it includes materials for the parent, it includes materials for the student, it includes a slide tape show that can be shown to a parent group because we very much want to get the parents involved either through the school groups or the PTA or a church group or a scout group. We've got a variety of materials, many of which again do feature the cast of fame and try to involve mm -hmm. the the young person in some role modeling, some imaging techniques, some, some jargon terms I'm using, but some techniques that we use in educational materials and programs to help children develop a positive attitude, to help them re resist the, the pressures of peer groups, and to develop some positive health behaviors. Um, I'm not that old, but I don't remember when I was in fourth, fifth, or sixth grade. Um, kids smoking or, or getting into marijuana. Um, are there any, have there been any studies done, conducted or whatever, to determine why um, children at that age level, that grade level, have, have gotten into smoking so much or even marijuana? I'm not sure that there's a single or, or a good reason why. I think it's something that we observe that, that does exist. And again, I'll stress not so much the fourth through sixth graders, but by, by junior high, kids are smoking pot. Mm -hmm. And we estimate that by, their, by senior high, as many as 50% of all high school students have tried pot and have experimented with pot, which is actually surprisingly similar to the number of students who have tried smoking cigarettes. There are some misconceptions that we've got to deal with. Going back to a uh, to perhaps to our generation or earlier, there was the idea that, as John Lennon said, that marijuana smoking was a harmless giggle. Um, that's not true, and the Lung Association is trying to communicate that message. We're trying to steer a, a, a narrow line between the uh, questions raised about the social mm -hmm. issues and the legal issues. Uh, mm -hmm. Those are not our issues. Our issue is the health issue, and we believe that Americans do not understand that marijuana smoking uh, is a legitimate health hazard. Mm -hmm. What could you tell a fifth or sixth grader uh, who, who is smoking marijuana? What could you say to that child in terms of the health hazards? Well, we can say that it affects your lungs, that uh, one marijuana cigarette, one joint, uh, can affect your lung as much as a pack of cigarettes a day. Uh, we can say that it affects your ability to concentrate as the cast of fame has, has illustrated in their public service materials. Uh, you can't fly if you're high. 
You can't perform well in school. You can't perform as well in sports. Uh, you don't have the concentration that you need to pursue a vocation or an avocation or a dream. Mm -hmm. And those are some of the, the social or the uh, other aspects of marijuana smoking. I'm wondering though, Chris, is it a fad that maybe some kids go through in school, in junior high and high school, a peer pressure, uh, uh, you know, kids saying, oh, come on, why don't you just try it? Are there a lot of kids that are just start smoking for experimentation? Um, or are, there, are you finding out that there are those children that are smoking four or five joints a day? Well, there's a little, there's a little of both. We know mm -hmm. that some teenage smokers and young smokers are smoking heavily. They're smoking one to five joints a day, and that is a marijuana that is ten times more potent than the marijuana of the 60s. Mm -hmm. So there's a small group of students who are smoking heavily. Mm -hmm. uh, one thing we need to be concerned about, though, is that uh, perhaps unlike cigarette smoking, where someone may experiment with it and then move through it, uh, right. if someone is heavily involved in marijuana smoking, uh, it's going to affect their behavior. I have to catch you off. We're running out of time. But listen, thank you very much. I learned an awful lot, and I wish you well with what you're doing. Thanks.